Hey everybody, welcome to Guy's Shed. Um, very exciting news. Um, East West, fine makers of samples, have just updated their uh, sample player from Play version 4 to Play version 5. Um, now this has been a long-awaited um, update and it's an important one because uh, the one thing they've really tackled and they've really listened to people is uh, their CPU and RAM usage. And if you first load up the new version um, 5, it has that hauntingly familiar look about it. You've seen all this before, haven't you? It doesn't look very different. Um, the first thing which will strike you, though, is suppose you go in and you load up uh, quite a, s a chunky little patch like one of these Legato patches. Um, once it finds it, once it gets its act together, look at the speed it's loading. Unbelievable. That never used to happen. I mean, it's, it's massively improved speed. And look at that. These are big legato patches, and they're going whizzing in at the speed of light. So that is a fantastic uh, development. It means that if you're loading a big template, you know you don't have to go for a cup of tea anymore. You don't, you know, we used to go for lunch. Um, now you can uh, just sit there and it just whoosh, it just does it. Another big thing is this: if you go into the settings and you go to streaming. This little bit down here is really important. What it does, it's got special settings designed for SSDs. If you can possibly keep all your samples on SSDs, the benefits are huge, and the cost of CPU uh, of SSDs is coming down all the time. Now, I've got two SSDs um, attached to this uh, play system. One is an external one, which is not as fast, so it sets a higher cache limit. That means ca cache level. That means it's loading more of the front of the sample. Streaming samples, they just load the front bit and then as soon as you play the note they madly go and get all the rest so the speed of the disc um, is um, di uh, will dictate how much of that uh, gets loaded at front so this slightly slower drive loads level 3 cache that's slightly more this one which is internal where the brass is coming from uh, is set to zero so it's uh, it's it, it's a much faster drive so it hardly loads anything at all into memory this has big benefits in terms of the amount of memory which you need to use uh, to run quite a big template. So you can override that and obviously you can change it if you want, but that's really, really cool. Um, let's just, here is a really, uh, let's, I tell you what, let's load up um, just for, just for, uh, just for fun, we will load up um, a, a little example um, I had uh, going the other day. But how do we actually know how much more efficient it really is? It's quite difficult to tell um, when you first start working with something. But here's, here's a, you know, one way I had a little look at it. Um, this is uh, a project which has simply got 30 empty instances of contact in it. Okay? And if you look at the um, CPU, um, this is Activity Monitor. I'm running a Mac Pro with uh, um, 10 point, uh, Mac 10.11 on it. So it's running at around 230% um, percent, um, for Cubase, which is where all this stuff is. Um, okay, let's get rid of all these contact instances and replace them with play and see how much, you know, background CPU, the empty um, sample players themselves actually use. So if we go to play and we set that for 30, and here they all come whizzing in. Uh, Let's see what happens here. So they give it a second to settle down, because that's not really true. Let's wait and see what happens. Right, there we go. So that's significantly less. That's less than 200. Um, so 30 empty instances of play use um, really substantially less than 30 empty instances of contact. Now, there is another way of looking at this. And um, here's. On my PC slave, which was running VSL, um, I took a snapshot of um, the task manager before I upgraded it to um, uh, VSL, I mean to Play um, 5. And this is what it shows. So it's using 52.5 gigabytes um, of RAM and it's running at 9%. Now, my template runs <coughs> probably 90% contact and 10% play. So any difference is going to be only in that 10%. When I've upgraded to Play 5, the CPU drops by 2% and I lose a whacking 7 gigabytes of RAM. And that's just, I haven't touched anything. So, and as I say, 
the vast majority of that template is running on contact. So that 2% is, is being leveraged out of a relatively small amount of um, the total template. So neither of these tests are particularly scientific, to put it mildly, but um, it is incredibly encouraging. So, you know, well done to Doug and Reese and all the other people over there in Los Angeles for, you know, what's a really, really promising piece of work. And it may well mean now that um, people who've really struggled to run uh, decent sized templates using uh, East West stuff on, a, for example, a MacBook Pro will now finally be able to have lots of headroom in order to do that. So that's a really, really encouraging step in the right direction. Well done.